Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about another string method called CaseFold. Now CaseFold removes any case information that's uh, been stored with the um, string object. So it's kind of similar to lower st string method but it actually removes any type of information that um, says if a letter should be capitalized lower actually just switches the um, case information to a lower but it's still there so let's take a look at it and see how it works I'm going to fire up my Python interpreter Python 3 return and let's take a look let's do a is equal to this is a string so we got our string object here it has uh, four capitals in it and we uh, assign a name to that string object of a or variable of a to that string object hit return and we're going to do a period case fold and this is the string method itself and we're going to put two parentheses at the end and hit return and as you can see we are returned a string that has uh, lowercase t, lowercase i, lowercase a, lowercase s All right. So that's what it does. It removes the case information um, from the string object itself. And it's creating a new string, like I've said a million times now. So we can also do something like, um, say we want to completely change this string object and assign, reassign A to that. We could do A is equal to A dot case fold. Parentheses hit return, call A. And now we have our string object. Um, this, this, our string object has a assigned to it. All right. Um, how about if we do one with cap locks on? Let's do uh, first off. Let's do c is equal to. I put cap locks on. This is our string. All right. Hit return. Now we're gonna call. We're gonna do print. C case fold two parentheses and close out our print statement. If you're using Python three, you need uh, parentheses around your uh, what you're printing. Hit return. It's our string. So what it does is it removes any case information. So basically, this is all lowercase. Um, if you have any questions about the case fold string method. You can leave us a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a nice day.